Welcome to yet another wonderful week of Dungeons in Dungeons. This week, we return after the Yin Yang, or the Battle of Yin Yang. This was a momentous occasion, as you guys seem to be players inside a much bigger game going on right now inside the world of Xenia. Uh, you ended up talking with Jarlax, and he was feeling you all out to see what this means for him, the North, and whoever these Chosen are. The name has stuck with each and every one of you as being these chosen individuals for reasons no one truly understands at this point, and some people don't want to understand, and others deny it altogether that it's pure coincidence. But the group itself has definitely made its mark on the world with two battles under their belt and not a single loss and completely rewriting history at this point. It seems like it is more than just a little luck on their end. It's too easy. Uh, you guys <laughs> ended up meeting with the Storm Giants don't, and you learned some very that. valuable information. You learned that your comrade Flama is still alive. Mm -hmm. You learned the location of Mosnell's mother, the fire giant that kidnapped her, and... She was still alive. It was all mm -hmm. learned that the love of his life was no longer still with us. And Ari asked probably the <laughs> most important question, uh, how to beat Escott Grandier. The giants, the storm giant that appeared to each and every one of you in the forest at midnight, explained it as gaining, explained it as Escott is a lock with multiple keys. There are multiple things you need to do in order to defeat him. Uh, and he is always prepared for everything. So that is something that you have to take with your plans to try and go to Lian Zhao and do whatever needs to be done there to visit the Frozen Fortress and do whatever needs to be done there. And uh, I believe he told you to get allies. That allies mm -hmm. were one of the most important things you guys could get at this point to try and defeat Escott Grandier. Uh, yeah, he said... Continue on our current path, mm -hmm. gain allies, continue support to the north. Answers lie in Lian Zhao and the Frozen Fortress. That's Wonderful. Correct. So, with that, you all were deciding on whether or not where your journey would take you in the next day. You know that forces are being repaired, rested, and retooled to ship out to Pinmen to bail out the dwarfs to help the economics of the war for the north. You um, were contemplating going back to give the glass to the two scientific uh, inventors in nature's hold to see what they have in return for all your hard efforts. You wanted to go get Maznell's axe and the group mm -hmm. is now deciding when and how they want to leave. They were going to confront Qualden to see if he would give them a lift to near Pinman, outside Pinman, to Pinman. It was unclear what you guys had decided. So as you all achieve a long rest, the day is yours around 8 a.m. All right. Where is everybody? I feel much better than I did yesterday. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So where do we want to head first? Get my you, you all wake inside the wing that you've been pretty isolated in and wandering out in the morning. You can smell food. You follow your nose and you are able to have some breakfast and food. Uh, again, in isolation, people are leaving you pretty much alone at this point. But they're making sure you're well fed. So you can obviously discuss at the table. Um, are we still going to try to find Jaqualdon? I think and, that's uh, probably the best way of getting to Pimmon. And then get you there. You did interrupt early. his night last night <clears throat> to ask him about it. So I'm sure he'll find us at some point if we don't find him. Yep. Mm. All right. Cool. Let's uh, enjoy a nice lunch. Well, early breakfast. breakfast. It's 8 a.m. That is what I meant to say. You're right. You're fine. I hate <laughs> eggs. <laughs> well, you certainly don't have any eggs. In all worlds and all <laughs> characters, I hate eggs. What? <laughs> you don't understand that. What? Fair enough. Unrelatable. <clears throat> bit sluggish, very <laughs> sore from the day before. Uh, still processing all the calamity and craziness you all went through. Uh, it seems like you all have a wonderful breakfast. It doesn't seem you do have a wonderful breakfast. You hit the water pretty hard, but if your desire is to even start drinking early today, that's always available to each and every one of you. 
in the morning, and you can hear the grumblings outside of the people that were up all night partying. You <laughs> fools. <laughs> so, how long do we think it would take Jaqualdin to get us to Pimmon using the coordinate? I'm sure he could tell us. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not a sailor. I mean, we got to... We got here in... How long was it? Wasn't it just like a couple hours? Seven days. Seven days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you went a, much around the top of the continent. Mm-hmm. Oh, did we cut our, it was supposed to be two weeks and we took a week. Is that what's what happened? Yeah. So half yeah. the time. By so ship. cut it in half. Yeah. Uh, There's a bit of a distance from here to there, though. I don't know. If it takes longer than a point. day probably won't be worth it it probably would Hmm. gauging the distance Hmm. we need to get you your axe back man that's what what i'm saying Um. i should get some music i just forgot about that too Oh, did that just freeze everything? That's real cool. That, <laughs> what? I opened Windows Explorer and everything crashed. Amazing. Awesome. Best session. Oh boy. I opened a Windows Explorer and <laughs> Discord crashed. <laughs> right on. Uh, ba Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys got us. I, I don't have the image up yet. I'm getting there. I can hear you. Good. I can hear you. Yeah, the struggles of being on the internet are real. Being in person is way easier. Hmm. Yeah, look at all this analog goodness. I can touch read. I can smell read. I can taste read. You definitely don't want to do that right now. Whoa. I'm going to, though. I mean, when you're sick as a dog, it's your I was choice. already sick this week. Joke's on you. God give damn. Me, give me the coronavirus now. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> In my existence. Look, I want to be the patient that is the cause of the cure, right? <laughs> Jesus. Mm-hmm. Well, aren't we confident? I'm not sure that's how it's going to work out. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah, Look. that's what I thought. Yeah, mortality rate's only like 2%. The actual flu is more dangerous. Think about it. I don't want to. I don't want any chances. No deaths outside of China. Easy. That, is that true? That doesn't sound yeah. True. So, yeah. So far, there have been no deaths. None. Outside. See? No, no, no. Well, modern medicine is a miracle. Anyway. I know. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? You are sluggish this morning. I feel yeah, great. I don't feel good. Okay. I am exhausted um so what is our top priority right now because if we go to nature's hold we can accomplish two of our objectives in that i can heal eve and help her to regenerate her limbs will gain a powerful ally uh, so that she might be able to handle things better on the other side of the world or help us with the war effort as well as potentially getting powerful magical items from those scientists, because we did gather some of the components that they needed, right? Yes. Also, we have on the plate Mosnell's axe. This is also very important because if he continues to use the axe that he currently has, there's a good chance that his soul is going to be rent or claimed or mutated or something bad is going to happen. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty evil. I know you don't want to admit it, but we know. You don't have to know. <laughs> and we got you. I mean, an axe can't be evil. Yeah. A person wielding the axe can be evil. It yeah. really can. <laughs> an axe really can be evil. It's just a thing. Don't be silly. Yeah, see, we're not going to get through to him. So. D- oh, remember, you do have a D10 inspiration dice to start this game. I, d- I do. I remember that. Good, good, good. <laughs> I... I think we should go to nature's hold because 
realistically, Miles Knowles at Miles Knowles, uh, Great Axe, it may or may not be there. If we go and it's not there, we're we're fucked. We can't do anything. Well, that, if but. we go and it's not there, someone's getting their head taken off. <laughs> That's <laughs> just what's gonna happen. But I, what I'm saying is, we don't have that time right now. Plus, if we go to Nature's Hold, we might be able to get you an equally powerful weapon that won't destroy your soul. Hmm. As long as it's an axe. I think that could probably be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you guys see Bologna finish up, Belfina finish up her uh, food uh, for this breakfast, and she's like, all right, where are we going? Find me a tree. And I'll take you there. We're going to Nation Pool. Right? All right. So you all begin wandering outside to go find a tree that's large enough. Um, who wants to make a perception check or a nature or a survival check I to try trees. and find some nice big trees for you guys to travel through? I love through? trees. <laughs> survival, you say? Yeah, you can use survival or you could use perception of anybody on the team. Same thing. Two, two people max. 17. 17, okay. 28 perception. 28. You're getting everybody on the right path, and then Ari <laughs> is sort of locked in. He is like, it's time knows. to kill the cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> and you're outside, like, all right, I'm feeling it. it's like right over there. It's like, it's there. You're right. It's there. Right there. <laughs> and it's like, all right, okay. He's had a good breakfast. <laughs> this man is ready for adventure. <laughs> um, you guys come up to the tree. Uh, she prepares a spell. I need Bell Ona to make a wisdom saving throw kill me. Oh, this shit again. Well, I rolled a nine, but I don't know what that means. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. So, um, do you know how to work the spell for Emily or Belfina? Uh, I do not, but I can look up the spell real quick. I, I'll, uh, I'll look I it up because your internet connection might be a little more dicey. Uh, just tell me the name of the spell. It's, uh, Travel through trees or something to that effect. Okay. Trees. I can, it'll come up with there's Google search. Uh, it's called trees. Transportation via planes. Flame. Oh. There we six go. level conjuration. Uh, duration per round, so it only takes six seconds. Uh, and it's open for six sessions. This spell Ooh. creates a magical link between a large or larger inanimate plant within a range and another plant at any distance on the same plane of existence. You must have seen or touched the destination plant at least once before. For the duration, any creature can step into the target plant and exit from the destination's plant by using five feet of movement. So in a beautiful opening where the tree itself starts to bend in on itself as Belfina taps on two of the sides and then pushes her hand in the center of it, gives off this wonderful green and white glow, and it seems like it opens up into this long hallway all made of, like, bramble wood and branches, and uh, you all have six seconds to get through. <laughs> I imagine you all rush through, and you get this, uh, your stomach just lifting up into your, your throat feeling, because it feels like your head spinning, you're going through a vast distance or plane or some magical spells affecting you in such a way that it's just different. Not necessarily harmful, but it just makes you feel wildly uncomfortable for your first time doing this. Um, by the end of it, you have your that hallway feeling still hitting you a little bit. Uh, like if you guys have ever gone on a treadmill for quite a while, then you get off the treadmill and you still feel like you're walking <laughs> in that treadmill. A little bit of that has hit your crew. And uh, as you exit out of the Tree of Life inside Nature's Hold... Surrounding you, you all can see the beautiful forest uh, behind. Uh, a couple guards jump as they see the two of you just appear out of the tree. You notice uh, one of the sworn is out there with a, uh, a pad, a quill paper, and writing stuff down on some parchment out there as eyes wide as you all pop out of a tree. The place seems to be in good shapes, good spirits. There is lots of people moving about, and it seems like Nature Hold is continuing to prepare for anything the Alliance may throw at them. Hello. I'm sure that was a wonderful description. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, it's wonderful to see you all. You were at Yin Yang not even a day ago. Yep. You just released and she's putting her parchment around like whatever she's doing wasn't very important. 
<laughs> she's walking over to you guys. She is in her uh, uh, silver and green armor, and it's more of the uh, leather armor for movement. And she has her spear on one side and the shield um, uh, on top of, this, of the spear. So it's like, take out the spear, and you'll have mm-hmm. sealed. Very much the uh, unsullied type of idea is the sworn. Uh, as she approaches each and every one of you, uh, is, is there something wrong? Is, is is there possibly another attempt on uh, her life? King of the North. Oh, Not no. We're, we're making a quick pit, quick pit stop. Pit stop. Oh, wonderful. Uh, our, our friend here has something that may be beneficial to our comrade Eve. Oh, Do you know where she is? Uh, that's the strange creature that came when we were ambushed in the uh, telepad room. Teleporters and- Runic circles, yeah. whatever they're calling this day. The no one can keep the terminology straight between the water deep mages have their way of saying things, and the northerners have their way of saying things, and it's boring. And I confide in you in this moment because you seem capable. I'm done rambling, and I'm going to rethink about this. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, the day is droning on where she is, and it is only. 8.05 in the morning. <laughs> Probably been up since 4 a.m. As you guys are moved around, it seems like they have gotten the entirety downstairs, not that they, they have, the entirety of the temporary uh, clerical wards and clerical places uh, to heal people. They have all moved up to the new wing up on the second level of the vast branching nature's hold. You guys make due time in about 10 minutes of walking uh, here and there. You Almost a mile in distance you cover till you find the new ward and you are greeted by many of the clerics. Uh, one you recognize, the uh, gray, gray-eyed, gray it was white-eyed cleric with gray hair uh, as he's doing his work as you guys are passing by back toward uh, where Eve is being kept and it's, as you enter in the room, as she does all the smoozing for each and every one of you, that crash again? What the? What is going on? I don't know. Tonight is just being difficult. Maybe I'll close <laughs> this. That's weird. Discord's just crashing for no yep. reason. Hmm. Nothing else on my computer's crashing either. Okay. As long as it's not me. I mean, my connection's pretty bad, but... I can't imagine your connection would turn my call off and everyone else is still on with you. Right. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. There should be some well. strange exception that's clearly happening right now, but that's okay. We're not going to solve that tonight. We're just going to have fun. We're just going to keep rolling. So- right. So you guys approach and you see uh, heavy breathing and still disturbed. Airy, it, it, it's remnants of airy to, a, to the exact description of what you saw early inside Fandolin of what his case was, minus losing an arm in a a lake. She still has labored breaths, and the clerics are doing their best to keep her healed. They seem to take turns, doing their best for doing greater restorations, or whatever they can do. It doesn't seem to be making progress. What you got? Uh, Talking to Uzo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now he's frozen. (laughs) It's okay. <laughs> okay. Am I good? Yep. Am I good no. currently? You're no. good. Still skipping. Mm-hmm. Give it up. We'll get there. A second. It's all right. I would really love. We can hear to you. Kept regenerate. Uh, it was rough. If you have to kill your camera to get a better connection, that's all right as well. Hmm. I've done that. And you don't have to hang up the call. Just take off the camera. Then you don't have to be sending a 720p video or 480p video, which can be slowing you down if you're hearing any of this, which isn't likely. Hi. Hi. I am uh, I'm back. Try turning off uh, your video, and that might help your connection. All right. I will do that. There we go. All right. Can you hear us, or are you still having problems? I can still hear you. Fantastic. All uh, right. So, Bologna just okay. asked you, what do you got? What do you got? Show me what you got. Well, I pull up the symbol with the um, with the scales, and I pull a vial of holy water that I have quite some time. Yep. And I come up to Eve's body, right? She's just laying yep. there in a slab. Um, they don't have any blankets on her. It seems like uh, normally they would, but they have been advised not to. Might have okay. to deal with their reptilian nature. I am going. 
call it the holy water. Mm-hmm. And uh, as it tips down, I'm going to put my hand on top of her head, and there's going to be a, uh, a green flash of light as I cast Regenerate on her. All right. As now you what cast- this does is it instantly she regains a bunch of HP. Could you- uh, that is going to be... 18, 26, plus 15. That's terrific. So that is That's horrific. a lot. 31. 26 plus 15. 26 plus 15 is 41. 41. 41 HP back, and she's going to be regenerating one point of HP at the start of each return. So that's one HP per, uh, 10 HP per minute. Yep. The target's severed body members, fingers, legs, tails, and so on are restored if any after two minutes. All right. So her limbs are going to start to grow back throughout this process. Depends on how you want. Critical Role had tiny arms. (laughs) Baby legs! legs. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Could you give me a charisma saving throw, Wuzo? That is going to be... Charisma save is an 18. You feel this pressure at the back of your head as you try to do this, and you can almost feel a darkness bellowing out behind you with the incantation being cast through tear, but you can feel the scales at your back pushing and keeping this balance and keeping your focus as you work your way through regenerating her. Uh, her arms, after arm and leg, after two minutes, do come back. Uh, they do not have any tattoos on them. They Ooh. are all right in that sense. Ooh, normal arms. Her deep breathing has, or her uh, shallow breathing, rather, has returned to a deep breath and slow breaths. She seems to have been stabilized by you regenerating her limbs. Uh, she does not awake. And you do get the feeling during your healing, um, initially when you put all that uh, life of tear inside her, you could feel there was a limit to how much she could take. That's You, you always imagine Eve to be much stronger and much more hardy than what you were able to put into her. But with every passing moment, you, while you still have your hand on her head, you're feeling a little little change, and you feel her growing a little stronger and a little stronger. Well, uh, that should at least help for now. Uh, do you think you drew back her arms? <laughs> well, her yeah, arms are moving, but I'm far more concerned about what has her mind and her heart grasped currently. Um, I don't think hers? you were here for this, but when I tried to remove the curse from area, or at least what I thought was a curse, uh, I felt a similar pressure as I did just now. Hmm. <laughs> the process has everybody in silence. The clerics inside here all start slowly walking toward Lizal and uh, wide-eyed, shocked faces, and they go... At least one of them. You, you are truly gifted. What they say about you all being chosen is no exaggeration. Wait, what? How you, do you know about that? It's, it's everywhere. What, <laughs> what do you mean? Every, it's literally been a day. It, it certainly has. And when you can send messages across vast distances, people can learn of victories. When we're sitting here, wondering hour by hour if our lives will soon be over by the Cobalt Alliance. It must have been within two hours of your victory. Uh, the King of the North told us all of it, and it ra- raised mora- morals so high. It's just the word that keeps sticking for all of you. It's so... It's so right. I hate it. Oh. Well, I... I did not consider that. I... Look. I appreciate your... Uh, incredulity. But we're just normal people. Try to help. All right. I will pass on the word if that is your desire. Uh, I don't know if I speak for you, but that's how I feel. Uh, Fair enough. Sh- b- below. <laughs> Thank you. As they start to back away, the other one is touching uh, Ulazal by. Uh, it- his robes and touching the holy symbols of tear and just awestruck at the event that just occurred. The level of magic has them awestruck. You are 
One of the most powerful clerics mm. I've ever seen in my life. It's unbelievable. It, are the stories true that Tyr healed so many at the Battle of Yin Yang? I heard uh, some of what you just said. That's okay. um, so, yeah, um, there's there's no way that any of what's been happening is possible without intervention from Tyr. There's no one quite like him. It's really something else. Well, Tyr's blessing onto you and all of us for his generosity and his divine sight. As the cleric backs off, you all see a stable Eve, and they continue tending to her in the best way they can. Um, it's so soon, it would be strange if Kane showed up, but at the back of your mind, you're like, oh, maybe we'll run into Kane, but y- you've hardly been here. It's, <laughs> it's about 30 minutes, and Noob's not going to travel that fast that you guys were here. Um, it's also not something people like to make available, that all of a sudden you're here and then you're there. <clears throat> that seems to keep the lowdown on where the Chosen are at. <laughs> mm. uh, what else would you like to do? Let's go check out those scientists. You got it. As you guys get outside, uh, does anybody want to try, two of you, can try and make a history check to remember where that was? So I'm actually going to go on my own. Okay. I'm not going to go there, but okay. you guys can do this first. Certainly. As you go, okay. I'll start looking around. Maznal just pieces off. Where, oh. where are you going? See you later. Yep. Uh, where I'm gonna, are you going, buddy? I want to go talk to Brian. I'll... See you guys later. All right, don't get lost. <laughs> Go ahead and give me uh, a <laughs> intelligence check to figure out how <laughs> the best way to get the brine separate Mosno. <laughs> I rolled a 14 history. All right. I, I kind of want to roll low. <laughs> <laughs> I have a 15 history. 15, all right. Wait. So, I rolled a 14. All right, so 14, 14, 15. Hold you on. all know the general direction, and you do a classic read move 16. where you're nice. Where you're just <laughs> outside the correct location, but you're not confident in your choice right now. Of course, and of you're just sort of <laughs> standing outside being like, all right, you're checking what would be in real life. Checking your phone, checking the address. It says it's right here. The name of the building matches. This is the right suite. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I should go in. But... In fantasy terms, <laughs> it's the observatory, and you see a giant telescope, but you also see a smash telescope, and you're like, oh, do they make a new observatory within the old one? Wait. And then finally, you can see a bunch of cars being like, hi there, can we help you? We're here to see the, the scientists. Oh, yeah, sure. They're awful. Got it? Go on in. <laughs> <laughs> they recognize you immediately. Um, there's a bit of twinge in their eyes, but there's professionalism for these guards oh, as you guys man. walk through. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> as you guys get inside, um, you did tell me Guilford, and the other one started with a T. I did not track down those notes, so uh, we'll just call him Mr. T for tonight. <laughs> Mr. T. <laughs> so Gilf- Guilford and Mr. T are hard at work on another project, and you walk in at one tossing instruments over the head of the other one who keeps ducking, and you can hear a conversation going like along the lines of, you incompetent, you buffoon, you change my equations without asking me first. This is, this is heresy. That's not what that word means, and you know better than that. I, are you, huh? <laughs> as the two of you, as all of you, the three of you walk in, uh, but both of you, with you, the four of you walk in, um, they stop, one of them, whatever he's holding in his hand is a, a journal, and all these papers come down, he's like, oh, look what you made me do, as he yells at the other one, and picked up all those pages, and uh, covers it, and you see Guilford come over to each and every one of you, and goes, oh, you're back, you're back, hmm? do you have something some- for us? Oh, asked, yeah. Do we? Yes, yes. <laughs> do you have the glass we asked for? And the powder? Uh, we weren't able to track down any powder. Ah, tough stuff to get. Uh, but we did grab a fair amount of the glass. Even tougher no. stuff to get. Be very careful, everybody, when you remove this from the bag of holding. Yep. Very- of course, I'm no buffoon. And you see Mr. T come over and he's like, I'll... Handle this speaking in common. Uh, as the other one is speaking common to all of you, but you can tell there's a little 
He's speaking common because he you have something. You gotta get it. <laughs> gotta get it before he doesn't go. No, no, no. They they came to me first. You were too busy messing around with all your paperwork. And he just he's like, uh, yeah. And he's just pushing away. <laughs> you can tell this one's slightly taller than the other. He has a little bit of a physical advantage. And he's just like, oh, oh, hey, I see, I see. As he walks out of the room and comes back out with uh, some strange device in his hand. Uh, it would be the equivalent of you guys seeing uh, an individual walk out of the room and come back with a gun held oh my to another God. person's head. What the hell? <laughs> but instead, it's these tubes and there's some strange, like, fire hose looking contraption. And you can see these red swirls inside. The thing is, like, you don't back off it right now. It's like, you want to do that in here. You, everyone would die. And he's just like, <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know me. I think I know you as he's slowly <laughs> removing the stuff from the bag right now. And he's. He has oh, gloves I, on. I was gonna be while they were bickering. I was gonna be oh, carefully perfect. removing it from the bag. Perfect. As you're doing it, you're handing it to him, and you can see the oh, no, my, hey, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> we have what we need. <laughs> As they take out the sheets, how many was it? Do you remember? Did you write it down? I believe you did. Three. Is that eight by twelve, eight by eleven standard sheets? What was the material? Was it? Um, ten sheets of glowing glass. Ten. Wow. You guys rolled high, and I remember now. <laughs> Uh, wow. The group walks. Not the group. They take out the ten sheets, laying them down. By the fifth one, they're like, more! And that goes, more! <laughs> it just keeps. <laughs> they're having trouble. And the other one's like jumping for joy as each one comes out. And they're like, this would be incredible. We can, we can try so many experiments. We can do. And you see them finally mesh for a second here where they just start completing each other's sentences and talking at speed so fast and slipping into yeah. elvish and they start talking in undercom and drow oh and it just keeps going faster and faster and they're like <gasps> how long are you here for we've got one day one oh do you leave like early tomorrow morning or tonight tomorrow morning excellent we can have maybe two of these for you to experiment with tomorrow what will you be making? A, if it works, hopefully something that is a powerful weapon to use in combat is our goal. We've been playing around with this incredible glow glass that the storm giants create upon their arrival into these realms. Very rare, definitely hard to see, but I, we've heard rumors, as the other one goes, yes, rumors about Chosen and storm giants coming to your beck and call. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, this might be a wonderful opportunity to really get things going for the North if you end up seeing those storm giants more often. As they both sort of, they're looking to see their, do you, if you guys are going to have any more interactions with the storm giants. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. They're super enigmatic. Yeah, fair. I mean, we did get ten sheets. Let's not get greedy now. As they're giddy, like, all right, out, out. We'll be working all through the night, and we will have something hopefully ready for you tomorrow. If things go poorly, we will have nothing for you tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oof. We'll see. We'll see you <laughs> soon. Thank you so much. And they rush out. Oh, that happened. Mazno, what did you roll for your intelligence check to track down where Brian is? Five. <laughs> After about 30 minutes of wandering this massive city, for a second you're like, fucking Skoberheim. And you're like, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not there. I'm just, not like, memories. And you're like, oh, God. And you feel like Ugh. disgusted even having the same feeling of being lost Ugh. in such a big city. And you can see... Uh, Couple individuals being like, "You, you lost there, fella, sir. You all, oh, oh, it's it's Maz now." And they start, a couple of them start yes. coming over. And they're like, "To what do we owe the pleasure of seeing you inside nature?" I didn't know you were you were here today. That is amazing news. Yes, um, me and the crew kind of hopped hopped in for a sec to run a few errands. I'm looking for Brian, the the king. Yes, the king. Yes. Can you direct me? I'd like to speak with her. They both slowly turn to the giant fucking castle at the center <laughs> of the city. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Oh. It looks completely repaired now. That's, I had a reason. I had a good reason. It was pretty beat up last time I was here. Last, last. Last time I was here, it was destroyed. Looked completely different. 
You know what they say, like, you can't see what's right in front of you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, um, certainly. We'll just go there, and I'm sure if she has time to see you today, Grace is very, very busy. Uh, she will be able to help you in whatever way. I'm sure there's time for uh, people of your stature. And as they walk away, <laughs> you can see there's more people, like, stopping with... All the weaponry is now sorted, and you can see, like, mm. racks that have been made, fresh wood cut down. You get that wonderful feeling. Like, you can usually tell, like, that was made hours ago, days ago. All the weapons are being lined up, and cobalt armor has been thrown away to the side. Mm. Um, you can see some people staring at you and, like, from the distance being like, Hey, it's, look, it's, ah, it's <laughs> great. We're never going to die. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you do see a, people, a couple people by the walls as you can see concerned faces they're pretty high up but they're only like about a story up and you can see them like looking over and disgust like oh oh uh, outside the walls but you can go wherever you want just something you would notice at this right. point uh, Brian might have time for someone of my height this is awesome <laughs> <laughs> Mosnell strolls into uh, the up the stairs People recognize him and almost like the hometown hero, knowing he's from the north. Um, people oh, give him right. <laughs> boots and excitement, and <laughs> you really make a very public display, and people get very darn excited seeing you uh, uh, because you represent the hope of the north. As you come up um, to the doors, hello. you can <laughs> a bunch of uh, guards being like, oh, well, I guess it is true. Wow. Because you have now spent like almost an hour wandering. As you finally come <laughs> back, and people are like, he is here. That's, wow, they are amazing. You, you were just in, ye uh, well, what can we help you with, Mosnell? I was hoping to have a word with Brian if uh, she's not too busy. Uh, she probably has a full schedule like she does every day, but we'll let her know. If you will stay out here for just a second, uh, we'll send hmm. one of our men in to give sure. her a message. The courier goes in. I just lean in the door and be like, hey, uh, you know, Moss and Old Dad's not outside. Chosen? Yeah, no, I thought it was a mean yank, too. Well, he's not. He's right here. You see a face <laughs> peek over? <laughs> 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 they don't have, like, their mask on, too, uh, what you're noticing with the drow. Uh, they seem to be in such good spirits. They're not wearing completely enclosed armor during the day. Wow. And you now notice, like, there's almost like a hooking mechanism that goes over their mm. faces to cover them in combat. Um, so when they look over, Mosnell's picking his nose. As <laughs> <laughs> they go in, travel happens, and uh, five more minutes go by, and a sworn comes to you and goes, Mosnell, Brian always has time for, as she puts it, Wolfie's new best friend. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. I like that. Go inside a lot of corners, and you actually feel a couple times strange. Like you feel this, like I get turned around, and all of a sudden you feel like, did I just lose attunement? Like what the fuck was that? To to your axe, and uh, you actually your veins go away, your eyes feel a lot better. Uh, anything you're attuned to uh, oh. has to be reattuned to. At this Whoa. point, Nine. you can tell Four, there three. is. Uh, well, actually, you can give me a uh, an Arcana check as you feel all of this. <laughs> oh, I think it's a plus zero, so thirteen. Thirteen? Hey. You? Yeah. It feels like maybe some defenses or something. I'm feeling good. You get in mm. there and you can still see um, more guards everywhere. Sworn. They open it up. There's new sworn, as some of them uh, obviously need to be replaced after the fights and the battles. It's been nearly a month since you last saw Brian, but not quite. And you see her. Uh, inside a room on a throne and there's a table in front of her and she's going through parchments and looking at all sorts of stuff. There's wolves on each of her sides, some of them mm -hmm. trying to get her attention by her legs and she's not paying att mm -hmm. any attention to it at the moment. Other wolves are bored and playing with uh, the gigantic tree that's in back of her. You notice some of the ever-autumn trees were moved into here and replanted the fresh soil and the entirety of the halls has uh, basically drew crafted stonework it's not as gorgeous as it once was but it looks like they're making do and you see brian stand up with great enjoyment as soon as you come in and she goes to do like a somersault over the top and completely collapses <laughs> to her feet uh to her knees and you see oh. all the sworn just rush over like no no what was and she, you see her laughing big <laughs> smile on her face and uh 
they're like, we, we told you, you're not better yet. Ah, I feel great. I could do anything. Get off me. I can hold up. And, ah, she falls down a little bit. They bring her back up. Oh, Maznell. They're studying her. And she's like, ah, oh, enough, enough. She takes out her sword and she just jams it into the ground. And totally being like leaning, like nothing's wrong. And she's definitely full flexed right now, leaning on the pommel of the sword. Like, to what do I owe the wonderful visit, Maznell? Oh, just, um, I was hoping to see whether you were, uh, feeling any better after... Uh, utterly and completely recovered. With that big wow. smile, you see two of the sworn just <laughs> faces unchanging. <laughs> the other two just, like, kind of looking down, being like, I don't know how long this is going to last. But she has a very happy Very happy to, very happy to hear that. And as am I. Word traveled fast, and I feel like people have taken my words out of context. The joys of being a king of sorts, chosen by all these wonderful individuals, but uh, cursing and a blessing, when everyone has to call you all these fancy titles that I insist they don't use, but they ignore me, as, as mm -hmm. always. Regardless, I said you guys appeared to be chosen this group in some shape, way, or form, if the Good old Wolfie was talking to all of you. I imagine there was something special about you. And now we have a, a, a folk tale about each and every one of you. So I apologize if it makes any of you uncomfortable, but it's something people really need. After years and years of darkness and tyranny, I feel like we can rally behind what is chosen. Who knows? Uh, Wolfie showed up to uh, Yin, Yin Yang yesterday. He did. Good to know. That's all right. I'm sure he's just oh. busy, not returning all oh. my messages to him. Oh, oh. no. Nah, he, he, he does message back. He just doesn't want to talk about fun things anymore. Uh, I, 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 I'm I sure if you were you were there and you talked to him, the, the same thing would happen. You've known him longer. As she comes closer, <laughs> um, without the palm of the sword and a little bit of seriousness, and she looks into your eyes, Mazanel. You found the storm giants. You were the one that saved Yin Yang. It was not I, as I sit here on my throne, trying to sort through all the madness. Credit is yours. Hmm. And she backs up a little bit. <laughs> so I appreciate you checking in on me. Is there anything else of news and note? Uh, well, we're headed to... Pinman. Pinman. Um, within the next two days or so. Wonderful. Uh, our forces have engaged some of the Cobalt Wolves uh, spies and uh, rangers. They are continuing with their siege. It seems like we will have uh, quite a successful storming of Pinmen if uh, Jarlax gets his way down there and our fleet miraculously <laughs> lives and has so many capable ships I think we'll be able to overwhelm the Cobalt forces and start driving them out of our land for good. Well, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? It would, but if I've learned anything, fighting Escott, he always has a plan up his sleeve. Pinman mm. isn't of that essential value to him in his mind. He cares where power lies, and that's where I place my bets. He's going to reinforce his favorite places, Lin Zhao, and try his darndest to crack on water deep. But we mm. have new allies. So the day has some hope for each and every one of us. Hmm. Good to know. On uh, a separate uh, No, I couldn't help but notice. Um, you have some wonderful pets here. Oh, do you, are you one with the wolves? Well, obviously the spirits, but... Fit. Have you ever tooking uh, some cubs in for your own? As she gives a little whistle to them, and they start coming over, and you start noticing, like, this is stark dire wolves. These things are massive <laughs> as their shoulders oh, yeah. and their big fur. Some of them have giant oh. gashes in them, and you can tell that, yeah. like, all the fur's been cut off so mm -hmm. they can get sewn up for uh, mm -hmm. stitches. Stitches. <laughs> uh, for stitches. And they come over, and she gives a... She's, giving little nods and talking here and there and almost grunting and in, in like in wolf <laughs> to them. And as she's giving little looks, you see um, one of them starts getting close and close to your face, Maznel. 
Um, I need you to make a deck saving throw. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Dex? Yes. Uh, that is 18. 18. As it gets close to you and you start rubbing it, you're like, okay, oh, all right, all right, whoa. And you feel behind you, you trip, and you do a little backflip, and you're able to put your hands out and stand just fine, and you can see the other dog start going a little quick away <laughs> as it goes around the corner, and you can see Brian start laughing hysterically as the other dogs have this little <laughs> grin to their faces. They like you. That's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad. But uh, yes, uh, I have uh, a wolf friends back home. Three. Three? Yes. Do your companions go by anything? Uh, their names. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> this one. If it's somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. it, yep. I got nope. Okay, well, you're ah, not here. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Cool. Yes, there's um, Barwolf, Harau, and Maroc. Oh, my three beautiful wolves. Beautiful names and heritage from the north, without doubt. Hmm. This is first big dog, and this is second first big dog. <laughs> 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 you can see the swarm oh, unchanging their faces, but you see the eyes go dart to you, try and read an impression, come back. <laughs> oh. That's way better. I'm Nonsense. Oh, Yours has so much why did meaning that? and heritage. Mine are just fun. They're just cuddly, yes, and you can hear this like <laughs> as she starts moving their faces. Oh. Yes, uh, mine aren't quite uh, this large. They're, these are quite impressive. Oh, You'd be amazed what you find inside the frozen forest in the Everwood. They, uh... A fun story for another day, how we met one another. But they are a wonderful companionship when the hours get long and dreary with paperwork and boring, boring, boring issues. <laughs> well, I hope once you're feeling well enough, you might be able to... Maybe go on an adventure with us uh, for a little excitement. Without a doubt, I will be joining the fr front as soon as possible. Good Clerics have me projected for maybe five, six days away. I'm sure I can do it sooner. But uh, <laughs> what I did was uh, uh, boneheaded, irresponsible. It's just so much risk as all these sworn are taking the piss out of Brian right now. And she's like, <laughs> necessary. <laughs> oh, wonderful well I'll leave you to your business I must re rejoin my group and hopefully we will be bringing good news from Pimmin within a few wonderful. days I look forward to it and absolutely enjoyed your company today it's nice to see others out there putting so much good into our world hmm. you're escorted out you were able to find everybody else. Uh, what do you all want to do, if anything, while Maznell is out and about? Um. Oh, uh, let's uh, see if we can't find him a good axe. Hmm. Sure. Are there any enchanters? Um, enchanters-wise, you remember there was the individual that promised you uh, enchanted weaponry if you return to Palantir to the gold-looking uh, elf. Mm. And she yep. was talking with Corin inside one of the general meeting rooms. Mm. Uh, most of the magical items were sent out with uh, the groups to Pinmen to try and really yep. get the economy flowing again to make uh, the war effort strong. You all can make some investigation checks to try and find uh, anybody that might know where someone can re-equip with some axes. Actually, I'm going to find one of the guards that I'm sure. going to ask if anybody... From the water deep, from water deep, is in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, actually, uh, it, we constantly have rounds where we exchange, and soldiers go back and forth as we learn to do drills to unite our forces. The lizard folk are a little. Uh, they're not about it. That's another one there. <laughs> as just like they both look over, and as you guys are like two stories up still, you look down, you just see a whole pit of lizard folks just sitting in the sun. And as like the the sun is slowly moving through the uh, early afternoon now, they're like the ones on the edges <laughs> move over <laughs> to the new uh, side, and they just keep moving. 
But we have plenty of drills. Are you looking for someone in particular? The, uh, I, I believe, L'Oreal Silver, uh, Silver Hand is in town today as the duties of the Black Staff are required back inside Waterdeep. Uh, she's pretty important. Ooh. Yeah, she is the open lord of Waterdeep. Oh, Jesus, I don't know anything about the politics of this continent. Um, it's intimidating. Okay. <laughs> Refer to her as uh, your lord. She is cold at first right, and always. Right. So <laughs> be careful with what word you say, and she does not mince her time. I think we'll be alone. Fantastic. Um, she was staying inside the castle with Brian, I believe, in another wing. I'm sure you could try and get a meeting with her at some point today. Is there any other people? <laughs> who might be gifted in transportation. Um, we have our pads. We could always teleport you to Waterdeep and seek out the Blackstaff. Because hmm. we're, we're trying to obtain a new weapon for our friend until we can reclaim his. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, it is out in the woods and we don't have access <laughs> to that magic in the short amount of time we need to. But I would imagine a city like Waterdeep would have access to resources like that. You have That's reminded me there thing. is somebody you are very familiar with that could probably help you with that. Probably. The freak show outside the walls. Oh, yeah. Let's go find her. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys oh, walk boy. away. Oh no. Mosmel, you end up catching up with them. You see them talking. Um, they're way ahead of you, though. So you're like sprinting. Ah, ah. They don't hear you at all. <laughs> they're just walking. Hey. So, like, what you're doing hey. is you're coming down to like the first le level because that's where all the stairs go up to the center of the castle. And they're up in the second level and they're going down all those stairs. And just obviously, because they're higher up they're making much better ground than you are. And you're like, oh, <laughs> as you're sprinting like two, three miles. In front of the Jesus. Yep. It's probably not at that far, but from where you were inside the castle, it took quite a long time. You guys meet there. Um, you end up hearing him about, you know, 500 feet out as everyone's like, is everything all right? Is everything all right? He's like, oh, did you get their attention? Hi. Whoa. Oh. And Mazno, you join the group out of breath. Hello, Mazno. <sighs> How'd it go? Work out a bit more, and I'll just like tap him on the belly. <laughs> oh, I found you. <laughs> I knew I would. Ooh. Oh man. Are you okay? I ran pretty far. Didn't want to lose you. Wait, what? Ooh. We wouldn't have left you. <laughs> I got lost earlier, just in the in the city castle. The city. Castle. I didn't want that to happen again. Right. Well, we're going to see our our, our good old uh, uh, friend with the zombie army. Yeah. Oh, wasn't she stirring trouble? Oh, <laughs> they kept telling God. us Apparently. to talk anymore. <laughs> you all so. exit out the walls. They show you as you're like, hey, can we see? Go. <laughs> They're like, get out of here. <laughs> Maybe you can talk to her. You come oh, outside no. <laughs> and you see cobalt bodies oh, my God. everywhere. Most of them not animated. But you can see two in a duel right now as she's just watching the two of them as it's like Gah! stabbing oh my God. and the other one's like Gah! taking it out and she's like so interesting <laughs> so fascinating as a crow's on her shoulder being like Gah! 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 Oh yes God. indeed indeed as you can hear like the marching of <laughs> a whole bunch of them coming by it's, it's only about like eight or ten uh, of them at a time at a time yeah uh, she's been working her butt off to try and get gain more and more uh, understanding of her necromancy powers as all of you guys come outside you see her with uh, a little smirk be like oh you've returned oh it's wonderful look look at all the wonder i've created here it's unbelievable i just remembered the accent uh, it's unbelievable to see the irony the justice of cobalt soldiers killing other cobalt soldiers they send their scouts out here and they're always so shocked to find some of our, their fellow friends and comrades not so happy to see them. I'm just going to shudder and not say anything. <laughs> As you see, she's like, one of them falls in combat and just drops the ground. She's like, I won't do. And you see her 
the periwinkle starts forming in her hands and she shoots it off into one of the ones on the ground just has a slow rise up jaw crooked <laughs> and starts coming over and she's like no use the other one and takes up this very broken and crappy looking axe and starts walking toward the one in combat I think I might have found one of the stronger kobold soldiers he must have been of some interesting rank it's tough sorting through all these thousands and thousands of bodies but it's uh, <laughs> when you love your work <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Totally. So chosen are you all? Whoa, whoa, they even told you? Yes. <laughs> but you're like an outcast out here. They let me in. I eat every night with them. I just have some rules. As you feel behind you the presence of the half eaten and the ribs exposed Valkyrie behind you. Oh my <laughs> just towering uh. all of you. Not no lights going on, no wings uh. on it, but it's just standing there. And just like, and of course, <laughs> we always have to keep an eye on this one. What, what, was, what, what, what does that mean? What happened? Sometimes she has a mind of her own. Oh. As her, her like <laughs> hands are going to Mosnell's shoulder blade, and she's like, no, no, stop that. She just like goes down. She's like, or oh, were you? And starts going back up. Mosnell, you can choose to be like, no, or see what's happening. I'm just going to stare at it while it's doing it. It's putting its hands out. It starts going mm. towards your neck and then subsides and goes towards your shoulders. It starts, like, doing a little rub of the shoulders for a second, mm. but then it starts squeezing and lifting you off the ground. She's like, no, no, okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> and it releases you. <laughs> She's like, that's the hardest cookie to crack. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Um, Doesn't so, look anything like a cookie. If you've come <laughs> to me, I imagine, <laughs> it's not just to enjoy uh, listening to all my wonderful work. Do you need something? Uh, how often can you transport across? A few times uh, a day, I believe. And I have a, a way of looking into your thoughts. So if you need me to know a location, I can look. Remember, that was her whole gimmick. Uh, That's how that. you figured that out. That was a fun time. Oh, yeah. Please don't, yeah. though. <laughs> she doesn't have teleport. Of course though. not. As you wait, see wait, one wait, of the wait, zombies wait, wait, being wait, wait, like, wait. no, no. <laughs> it's backing off. And she's like, go. But you you need you need to have a, an arranged like place to go. You can't just you can't just teleport to a specific spot, can you? I'm checking her sheet right now. She's that good. She but I'm well, she can I'm, read our memory. I'm though. pretty certain she has the straight up six level spell, spell teleport. <laughs> she would be able to just that teleportation circle. The teleportation circle in the north. Right? My campaigns. The ones that are already existing. There is one that leaves Waterdeep, isn't it? Yes, but yes. you guys could just use but that if, for free. But if the burner we spell. can just go straight to where my axe is. Let me just double check. <laughs> she has that power. And not even worry it's a, it's about Waterdeep. It's a seventh level spell. So She's she level 13 had... now, so okay. I just didn't level her up. Uh, if so she doesn't I mean, have it, give it to her. If she doesn't have it, technically you can take it for him. Sure. And I know. I I, we talked about this because there's a... Uh, uh, stuff. <laughs> There's teleport circle, telepathic bond, create undead, false light, modify memory. Yeah, I can just give it to her for the next level. She can learn that. Easy. And she gets one seventh level <laughs> spell, I imagine. Yes. All right, let me level her up. So we can All get right. there, and if we try uh, uh, Dondis... Actually, I can take us right back, because uh, sixth level, I teleport can take us through the circle. teleport circle. And that's a fifth level. Excellent. Excellent. We can get my axe. We he lost it very now. Much. He had to use it to, uh, for our, our trials with the storm giants. He had to mm. leave it behind. I, I wish I could have been around for that. That would have been that of cool. most interest as our eyes get wide at the thought of... Uh, Ooh. Taking a storm giant and making them. Uh, yeah, we we didn't undead. kill any storm giants, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, what a waste. <laughs> They're really cool. You don't want to kill them. They're pretty awesome. I'm I'm pretty sure the undead are pretty cool as well. Anyway, uh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, she has one slot. So teleport. Oh. Let me. Add. Well, she has to know where we're going, right? Yes. Uh, she actually technically doesn't. There's just a percentage rule die of how close she gets there without... But well, the, she the can, amount she knows improves the chance. 100%. So you would want so to do that. So she can read my memory. Uh, 
Anyway, okay, I'm just gonna say, I'll just look it up, because I don't want to go through the whole UI of okay. figuring that out right now. Oh. Uh, um, I remember where I left it, so if you want to look. Oh, you definitely. Let me just it's take a, a peek into your memories. And what was the trick they did? Where she can take a memory, oh, but she can plant it in her own. That's right. So she takes one of her bow, bows off because she planted it in you for after Brian. You give her six, uh, consent. Mm. Okay, so you fail the saving throw. Doesn't matter. She sees just... where it is. And she puts it into her head and she goes, oh, oh what a cute little place. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will see viewed once. Uh, very familiar would probably be very familiar because she has the memory and the way that magic works is memory is pretty... Uh, Pretty spot on. All right. Well, she looks at all of you. And she's like, "All right, how many people can teleport at once?" Uh oh. Um, well, I guess we don't need everybody. I believe it's. Uh, I think it's everybody. If you think of Critical Role, the Essex was teleporting. It, they, to it's six. you and up to eight. So excellent. So everybody, so everybody can come along. Oh, you can do a total of nine. Let's eight. go. Ralia right. is going to roll a percentage die. That is very familiar. Uh, pfft, you guys suck. Oh, I rolled a 25. <laughs> so if you see the table, <laughs> you see the table, by one, yeah. you're on target. <laughs> you all go there, and she, as you teleport, a different feeling from going through the tree itself but you can feel this uh different type of e uh feeling where it's like your feet are are expanding and you feel this big like rubber Ooh. band effect as you guys get hit here with momentum <laughs> with that i think i'm stretchy <laughs> you're all there and uh Mosnell, you see your axe in the same place it once was <clears throat> oh thank the gods <sighs> somebody was gonna get hurt <laughs> right. you do I walk go up, pick, pick it up. up. Yep. As you do, you get a little shock. You feel the electricity ah. around, like. Tsk, tsk, tsk. And as you take it out, you can see the runes on the wall you guys initially went in fade. And it's uh, the door wasn't open, but the runes are no longer showed, and it goes back into the ground. As you now have Ooh. your giant slayer's axe back added to your inventory. Ah. Woo! Let's go. That was the easiest mission. Feels like coming home. Hey, sometimes the dice are uh, good to you. So, <laughs> as I'm gonna give it a couple swings. As you're doing that in the background, <laughs> like uh, an overweight dad practices his golf swing when everyone's oh. just like, "Stop, dad! <laughs> stop, dad! Yeah, Please!" Yeah. You're in the background, just yeah. whoa! Look at me. Um, Ralia <laughs> is ignoring you utterly and completely with uh, her wonderful crow, a raven, at her shoulder, and she's right now writing down incantations she's trying to find uh some some better area she goes to belfina she's like could you shape some of the stone here just to make it a little easier for me to put down the teleport circle oh yeah absolutely awesome um do you have like a stone shape or something like that i have something yeah. I figured let me out. see yep go ahead and look that up as uh belfina looks to the ground puts her fingers inside the dirt and starts like tilting your head back as her fingers go underneath and you start seeing uh, some of the like uh, more stonework coming up to the surface. It's not a perfect circle. It's by no means uh, what you would expect back in Waterdeep or in Nature's Hold. But regardless, you guys have access to a teleport circle at the end of that spell. If she has the spell. Otherwise, you gotta get creative. She sure does. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> Ralia looks at all of you and she's like, well, I have more tests to do if you all want to just hop on. All right. Uh, Back to the castle. To here. Let's go. All right. You guys teleport yeah. through again. This one seems a lot smoother. It almost feels like a blink of an eye when it's a teleport circle. Uh, as that happens, you see her go, mm. well, that's just there now. I will definitely go back and try and uh, get rid of that. As she oh. she's going through. Remember, like it's probably not good to have just out there. Wait, the circle isn't it, it used up? Is it used up? It's it, it's yeah. Okay, good. They don't yeah. they don't last. You have to a lot of time for, it, for it to be permanent. You have to do what? It, it's like you have to reinscribe it every day for like a certain amount of time for oh, okay. a year. Oh, okay, a year. Wow. wow. <laughs> well, in nature's older, very much doing that process every day in water deep. 
Yep. All right. You all return into nature's hold. and you That's see- just to make it. So once you do it for a year, it's created. Yes. Yes. Mm. So they're nowhere so close. They- they're a month in. They're less than a month in, I believe. It's like three weeks. Mm. What does the group want to do? Uh, now that you have accomplished Masa's guys. Act, you have visited Eve. You have uh, given the wow. weapons to the. I was the, not the expecting the that. <laughs> that was guys, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Who's stealing it in the middle of the woods? It's tough to find the storm giants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were just, you had memories and you had great survival checks. Uh, and animals all right. didn't roll so well. <laughs> is there somewhere to practice if I want to hit something as yeah, you go probably. down into some of the areas that were originally for gathering all the weaponry they now have plenty of areas to train and you can see Kane mm. readily training with like two or three <clears> drought at the same time and he's giving them pointers being like no no you see when you attack except his grumbles that's right and so he's just like rah, 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 and they're like I think he's communicating with us again. <laughs> and, he's like, and he keeps taking their blade and be like, ah, ah, and he's showing them like parrying moves and stuff like that. And they're like, I think I'm going to put my test. Allow me. I'll translate. You see like, what are you trying to say? Like, and he just gives you a big <laughs> hug and you guys start doing your sign language talk to one another with your symbols. Um, he's mm-hmm. very happy to see you. And he heard that someone fixed Eve this morning, and now he's like, now it makes sense. Of course, Mosnell uh, did it. Uh, <laughs> no. no, that was Ulazal. He's good with the Healy Healy. He looks over to Ulazal, and he's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> his shoulders as Ulazal just sitting there being like, this place is so big. And there could be a Temple of Tia put like there or there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, so would you like to practice? Yes. I just got my axe back. Oh. Want to train. You see uh, Kane, like, motion everybody back. He's like, time to see something. <laughs> um, the two of you begin training. Uh, you begin doing uh, very similar to what you did on your way to Skoberheim as you guys increased mm-hmm. your talent and abilities. But this time there's a lot more power and finesse by everything the, you both are stronger and more trained oh, in all this we're so um, good now you can give me a <laughs> i would say athletics check and as this is a contest to see who's going to get the better of one another in this duel. Okay. Um, i'm not so much keen on strength it's not necessarily just strength and acrobatics neither of you are jumping around <laughs> kane can he does large distances but he has no interest <laughs> in doing that right now okay Good that boy, is really a i just realized i'm wearing the same maroon color that's why I was like no, I 27 right. not high enough you'll have to do better than that to beat Kane uh, let me go see what Kane says I don't I'm know. pretty sure he doesn't have that modifier Kane the brain let's go I have, I have a plus 9 for athletics Kane the insane let's go do I still have him <laughs> Kane the train <laughs> I do not believe his modifier is plus 15. <laughs> so you do get the better of Kane. Yes. <laughs> I will this double time. check that. But yeah, as you start going off on it and start doing some pretty impressive moves, as you start parrying and using your strength to move Kane out and around. Uh, there's cheers and shouts going on as they're seeing these two incredible fighters go at it. And even some of the lizard folk are getting involved. Some of them on top of the walls where they're like basking in the sun, giving a look and they see Kane go down and you can, you can hear the grumbles of the mystic being like Kane! <laughs> from the background. And you see Kane just like, Oh, he's up. <laughs> Bugger normally doesn't wake up until afternoon, maybe 3 PM. And it's ridiculous. And he's, and he's motioning toward you and you're laughing and giving all these bellows. <laughs> uh, I'll turn to the, the remaining group. Um, I think I'm going to go to see if Salem is around or any of those gray hoods. Sounds like fun. Uh, Quiet company? If you want to stay and enjoy the entertainment, I just want to go talk and maybe strategize about what we learned from what I learned from the Storm Giants. All right. Have fun. Uh, I'll take you along. All right. Wander towards the castle. You guys don't have to roll. 
because people yeah. know and you're just going to ask the guards at this point because you have such a nice uh, rapport with rapport. each and every one of them. <laughs> um, they talk about what gray hands are uh, stationed around here. They don't know the exact numbers. That's kept purposely hidden. But they know that the big honchos aren't in town. The leaders of each of the commanding units, um, the anti-caster unit, the, uh, the other two are in my notes. Don't worry about it. Uh, but the other, <laughs> all three of them, Salem's obviously the commander of another one. They have a policy. If one is in the direct line of combat, like Calgary is inside Yin Yang, the other two are inside water deep, safe. Ah, mm, Otherwise, it. there's lower level people and grunts. And they also remind you there is a gray hand in the frozen fortress. Mm. Yes. Um, I guess I'll make my way towards the castle to see if I can talk with somebody upper, not Lariel herself, but yeah. somebody, somebody up there. Give me a investigation check as you're looking around for someone of the gray hand to discuss with. Mm, investigation nine. nine. Oh, it's better than you start getting distracted by all the moving bodies, but Bologna helps you out dearly again. 26. You're returning the favor from this morning, actually. As you pointed things out immediately, she's like, oh, don't worry, I'm starting to get the hang of all of this. <laughs> and you do see Jeez. a bunch of gray hands uh, being a bit like a, how you would say the emo kids chilling out on like outside the school on a bunch of stonework as they're all talking to each other with their hoods down and not really making eye contact or anything as they're hearing giggles and they're flipping coins to one another. Uh, some have daggers they're rolling in their hands. Oi! Oi! To what do I owe the pla- Oh! Hello there! Look at the big names walking in nature's old today. It's all the buzz. What could we do you for? The saviors of Yin Yang. Any of your bosses around? Uh, by that you mean commanding officers? Yeah. Uh, at best, L'Oreal, I uh, would not she probably won't see you today. Uh, otherwise, you'd have to try and talk with some of our lieutenants, second in charge to our commanders that do show up and they're overseeing all this. Uh, you can try and track down the tiefling named uh, uh, Excellence. Okay. All right. He Where might we potentially find him? Drinking or... in the hall, and he points left, right, gives you some directions. <laughs> Drink it away right. there. I will make my way in that direction. Okay. As you guys enter the hall, you see plenty of people eating inside here, but only one teeth. Uh, at the end of the table, inside his hood is down, and with a jolly smirk on his face, he is enjoying a nice meal, as it is now around 1.32 p.m. in the day. Actually, it's probably later than that. It's about 3 or 4 from all the traveling and conversations you all had. Excuse me. Yes, what can I do? Oh, hello there. <laughs> what do I owe the great honor of speaking to the saviors of Yin Yang, the Chosen? As he like puts his hands out, and you see some illusion, like fireworks start going off in his hands. <laughs> oh. Cute. Um, Theatrics, I see. I, I, we, we got some information. Oh, you muted. Did you mute yourself? Did I mute you? Me? I don't think he's muted. I hear him. I hear him. Hello, oh, hello, they're all hello. muted. What just happened? Everything is <laughs> Why, Discord? <laughs> they're all muted now. Everything's uh -oh. Literally nothing changed. Nothing changed. <laughs> Were you enjoying hello? playing that game? How about you just shut up? <sighs> Stop hello? that. Beautiful. Uh, rude. I blame society. The speakers. <laughs> Go ahead and talk. Hello, hello, hello. Is it, it work? Talk? Uh oh. <laughs> Give me a moment. I gotta. I'll restart Discord. Uh -huh. Hello. I'm gonna stop recording. We're back. Just a job. Somehow oh. I managed to not, and that wasn't even close to my feet. Somehow no. I hit a switch on a on a box about I don't know six inches away from me, right on. And it's one of those like you have to push and you don't just bump it. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> where were we? Uh, we were talking to the lieutenant. Oh, yes, you were talking to uh, Tiefling Excellence. Yes. Tiefling Excellence. Yes. Yep. Excellent name. Yep. Well, <clears throat> Tiefling names are literally emotions. So. Yeah, they're so cool. I love it. Tieflings are dope. 
Yeah, but Tyrion's he's got he's, he's deep, all right? You know, who knows? I don't know anything about him. <laughs> exactly. No one ever knows. No one ever tries. They try, but they get nowhere. They're like, well, he doesn't want to talk, so I'm gonna be oh respectful. God. It's like my you favorite, guys, my favorite uh, Tyrion and Ignatius's day day out. Yeah, that was pretty I cool. like got super deep into Ignatius's backstory, and it was like asking him about his family and everything, and he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> oh my god! Classic Ryan. <laughs> Classic Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, about you? <laughs> all right. So, um, what were you asking him? I didn't hear. It cut off. From I I had said um, I was like he did the little flare. Yep. And I was like, cute. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, we grand. have. I, I was like, I have, I have information uh, that I need to pass on to someone of importance regarding Escock Rand. That's terrific news. Um, I don't want that information because that could be intercepted. Let's not do that. Um, let's see. I could send. I'm to my commanding officer. Uh, He's in Yin Yang, though. Uh, I am part. I am second in command of the anti casters. Calgary Probably. is would probably benefit from that, and he can, because of his stature and anti casters, he has secure lines in which you can speak. The cobalt wolves are incredible, and the alliance at intercepting messages. That is a magic we have not figured out, and it is of extreme interest. It started about a year and a half ago. We started noticing. They were listening, and we've taken the proper steps accordingly. But mm-hmm. something like this, you can never, ever be too careful. See, we can tell him first. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, we'll just tell him tomorrow. All right. That's all. Terrific. That's all. Have a wonderful yeah. day. It was exhilarating meeting each and every one of you. Yeah, there's more of us. Is there? Yeah. Aren't you all there? No. Yeah, no, it was just me and Bologna. Oh, you're right. You're right. I thought it was all tech along. Just the two of us. Nah. Yo, I'm hanging out with Kane all day. <laughs> Kane the train. <laughs> all right. So the day is yours and nature's deep as you're killing time till tomorrow. You can choose to do whatever you would like in the meantime. The place is definitely acting like a military base, but there is some smiles and relaxation returning to a land devoid of it for so long with so much fear, worry, and the inevitable end looming over their heads it seems like there's hope i think i'm gonna go to the um what kind of infirmary they have there yeah. and i'm just gonna help out as much as i can and use like all my spells for the day just to try and heal as many people as i can give me a charisma check okay charisma yes. oh no i dropped it on the couch i'll just roll a different one <laughs> Okay, that's good. Uh, that is just a straight check. That's a 20. Uh, wow. Oh. People take notice of what you're doing, and you seem, when you're healing, to be such an open and a approachable individual. Spreading the word of tear, you end up finding more followers, people wanting to devote themselves. No, to what, I need to know. To, <laughs> to what they were uh, hearing that happened in Yin Yang and seeing the incredible work of Uzo Uto is getting... More and more people in the belief of. I need to know. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. What's what was he freaking out about? What's up? I don't either. I'm so mad, dude, because I just missed like so much of that. Oh, uh, <laughs> you'll never know. That's all right. <laughs> That's about right. For yeah, it was honestly not really important. Thank- no. He's he's thankless yeah. in his work. Um, they're gonna move on, and I'm just gonna chill here until we catch back up. Can you hear yeah. us? Excuse me. I'm getting the dice. They're the worst. Oh, man. What else do you guys want to do while he sorts out his life? Is there a craft I'm back! Oh, he's back. Um, <laughs> well, is all. Uh, the idea was you rolled so high in that check. They see you as uh, very approachable, a devout follower of Tear, and they are falling in love and feeling the love from your healing of Tear's blessings and balance into the world. You f- start finding more followers that want to join the ministry of Tear, and you are. I will. <laughs> the way. Oh. <laughs> right. Yes, yep. finally, yep. I'm a good cleric. <laughs> yep. You, uh, you have, with that role, started a movement inside nature's hold for the belief of Tia. 
Oh, beautiful. During your entire day, and when you go mm-hmm. at night to reconvene with a late dinner with the rest of the group, what are the rest of you doing for the rest of the day? Uh, Mazo, you're hanging out with Kane. You catch up All with him. Day. Is there anything in particular? Otherwise, it's just hanging out mm-hmm. and having good times. Uh, catching up. Helping helping him train. Give me a charisma check just to see how things jam today. Sure. My charisma, I think, is not very good. Probably not. <laughs> oh, it was almost an 18, then it was like a uh, four. Okay, that's Rip. very low. So, charisma, yeah, that's a four. <laughs> Oof, DC was so low because Kane is so uncharismatic, but you still managed to <laughs> fail it. Congratulations. Um, the day, Kane's a little distant. He's very happy to see you, but his concern for Eve is paramount. Mm. And uh, he's so happy that she's in a more stable condition. And you have brought much excitement to his day, but he is distracted severely. Uh, it gives you some insight into how they're adjusting very well, but no juicy details come out in your bonding of the day. Just more of a quiet right. silence of being present with one another. Mosnel is very satisfied sitting in silence next to Kane. Terrific. Just sitting uh, there. Eri, Bellona, Belfina, any of you would like to do anything for the rest of the day? Are there any craftsmen's quarters? Yes. There certainly are. Uh, is there a Fletcher? Uh, there would definitely be one. Let's go have a chat. Okay. <laughs> Let me go get him. As you come, you see yet a wonderful drow working hard inside uh, their current blacksmithing station. You can tell they have split up the work, so they don't ever get caught again, where if they destroy one, they have no means of producing. Uh more weapons the fletcher is designing arrows and you can see all interesting contraptions it seems like technology has been really pushed down the ideas of nature's hold during the desperation of the war because without technology they they don't have the men they don't have the numbers they still don't have the numbers so they've been playing around with stuff but there's a lot of weird looking bow stuff that clearly does not match uh does not look functional <laughs> um Nature's blessings to you, good friend. To what do I owe the presence of... And you see I'm leaning a little closer. Oh, look at that. And my humble abode, you believe that, seeking out good old Nail. Hey, Nail. How's it going, man? <laughs> Wonderful. Bologna it is, right? Yes. It's tough not to know you people these days. <sighs> yeah, sure seems that way. I made quite a splash. To what could I do you today? A literal splash. <laughs> I should have seen it. I don't believe any of it, but you're here, so like, and we're, they say we won. Hmm? As much of a skeptic, that's pretty hard to lie about. Yeah, I, I couldn't make it up if I tried. Right on. Terrifying, but I choose not to think about those things. Yeah. All you have is your work. And then you see like one of his arrows just off the wall, one of the bows, I mean. It's like, I'll get there. Uh, well... I was looking for some, uh, I guess, any, any improvements on, on these bad boys here. You know? Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I uh, designed these myself. Oh, look at this brilliant idea. I dabbled with this idea of yeah. automatic reloading the, oh, it's brilliant. Oh, God, I love it. And look what you did here as he's turning it over. And Oh, oh that's so clever. That's so clever. Oh, I, I bet I could help you out with this. Um, would you like me to? Uh, what do you have in mind? Well, we could make sure it doesn't jam as often. We could try going down that path, because I can see plenty of markings here where the yeah, barrel's getting jammed yeah, and, and they, it's not yeah. looking right. Um, we could try and increase uh, the damage output. Uh, I can mess around with the way the strings of the contraption work and the tightness of each and every one of them, restringing uh, your wonderful crossbows here. And uh, you know, maybe I could... It would take a while, though. I don't know how much time you have. We're leaving tomorrow. So okay, then we won't. But maybe for a future day, we could probably shoot multiple arrows at once with Whoa. this little contraption you have here. I now like that. That would be cool. Mm-hmm. But uh, in, in the sake of time, I'd... Uh, let's try and get it to jam less, if that's what you want to help me out with today. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, you go over there, and he starts clearing stuff out, and there's this beautiful workbench, and it's all wood. Everything seems to be carved out of wood and nature in this mm. uh, blacksmithing section, which is like, it's all going to go up in a fire in th- five like seconds. Well, what? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> when you hear the cobalt wolves are winning the war. <laughs> oh! 
It does. <laughs> it looks it. Cool. bad too, cause it looks fun. Yeah. Cool. They got it was airy. Just the connection to your. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're moving on. Anyways, give me some <laughs> tinkering checks, um, which would be under intelligence, I believe. Ten. Ten. And he will help you out. The two of you working together. Natural twenty. Oh my! You look out. Nail. <laughs> <laughs> you guys spend the majority of your day, and uh, what is the jam mechanic? It's if I roll a nat one. A nat one. On my attack. You can re-roll it now. If you roll another hey. nat one, it fails, fails yeah. and it breaks. But uh, with the work of both of you, your 10 and his 20, he seems light years away in designing, uh, and he comes at you from like an angle you didn't even realize. <laughs> and you're like, oh, it's so simple. And he's like, ah, so it's, so I've, I've been there for years. And sometimes those little tricks, those are the ones that really push you into the next level with this. These are brilliant. Anytime you want to come by, Delona, please do. This was a wonder to work on. But I am starving and need to close down for the day. Uh, understandable. Understandable. I, I, I appreciate the work. I appreciate your talent. Mm -hmm. He shakes your hand, and the two of you bugger off into the night. Bye, Neil. <laughs> Neil. Neil. Uh, all right. Uh, I believe Delfina and Ari are left. Do you want to do anything, Delfina, or do you want to take a day off? Um, I wanted to, like, catch up with everyone, because I guess I slept a lot last session. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, certainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she sees yeah. you all out at dinner, and they'll all talk with you. So before dinner, we'll get to Ari. I was going to go back to the infirmary yeah. where um, he was. Okay. And I was just going to kind of sit next to her, kind of twiddling the dark point in my fingers and kind of meditating and trying to reach out. Okay, give me a religion check. Spicy. 11. 11? As you focus and you fiddle the coin in your hands, you almost feel the presence of your brother around you, uh, giving you a pat on the back and an excitement for your victory, and it's just this brief uh, overwhelming emotions pass through you as you're fiddling the coin around. But with that, nothing else seems to conspire in about the hour you meditate with Eve. Anything else? Or are you good? Are you satisfied? <laughs> satisfied. Is is uh, there, I'm sure I'm, I imagine there's other people there. Certainly, um, but they they leave Eve alone, especially after today. The process they've been on, they're only periodically checking in on her as they've been working tirelessly mm -hmm. on her. She's one of those cases, like an individual that would be in a coma, because she is mm -hmm. in a coma, and so it's yeah. like there's only so much we can do to keep her alive. Uh, we're not yeah. going to be constantly healing her, especially since things have gotten much better in her condition throughout the day. I'll just kind of speak out to the air. Just... Sure. Who are you? Why, why won't she wake up like I woke up? <laughs> and I'll just sit quietly. Give me a religion check with disadvantage. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> Double ones. <laughs> 1 into 20. A natural 20 and an 11 again. An 11 again. Oh. Um. Yeah. It doesn't even come to you this time. More meditation mm -hmm. of this. What you get is this entity clearly works in mysterious ways. And I would say, go ahead and make an intelligence check. Five. <laughs> Tough to understand what he's all about. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is baffling. It, she, whatever it might be. Mm. Oh, wow. Well. Could have been cool. All right. Uh, Everybody comes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wow. comes to dinner. And uh, 
A lot of you finally see Belfina, who's just like, Hi! Where's everyone been? I didn't know me! Except she probably doesn't say it like that. But she's there. <laughs> and you all can see Belfina, and you're all, um, Belfina, you're welcome to ask uh, anything you want of them. And then proactively, if there's anything else you would like to do during the day, you can do that as well. But we can get, at least get you caught up, and then we can back up if we need me be. Emily? She died. Oh, is it being poop again? Yeah. Could be on the we were, Yeah. We were uh, gone for a second. What was it? What was the question? Um, Basically, you can catch up right now like Emily wanted to, and then we can proactively do anything else you want to do on, during the day. Uh, but now she can just talk to everybody like she wanted to, and if she really wanted to do something during the day, we can do that as well. Okay. I wanted to help with food during the day. Help with food, did you say? Yes. Yes. Ah, absolutely. Give me a nature check. I mean, you should probably be pretty good at nature, would be my guess. Naturally. You so many times. You know. Oh. oh. What was it, seven, did you say? It's a natural three, and somehow my modifier is plus zero. Oh, druid's getting wrecked. I know. What? I'm a druid. How is my modifier plus zero? Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> um, that's what you get for Max Minning, your shitty characters. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, sometimes those things fly under the wire. <laughs> you find it difficult to help with the meal preparation process. You're able to track down the drought that are in charge of that. They are respectful to you, but it's definitely made for people um, three times your size. So that is a big stop, even though you try and do some wild shaping and you're standing on brambles, but it, like it takes you, you know, all afternoon to just try and get in the process. You help out and they sincerely appreciate it, but some you feel like, was I... Was I more a hindrance or did I help them? I made some cool stuff. At least they have some new new foods. That's fun. I got to experiment <laughs> with some things. So that's really exciting. I feel like we could do something with, with, with onions. That's at the back of your mind as Orhana is, well, she did it weeks ago, like making the onions in water deep. Uh, so there you are. Uh, that, that was a end of that role. You can still have the rest of the evening before you catch up with everybody at dinner. Sounds good. Okay. You all are at dinner. You all had wonderful days in one aspect or another, or frustrating days, depending on what answers you were looking for. Uh, you get typical meals. The food here, it seems better than Yin Yang. They have more supplies. It seems like they are more efficient at the center. And with the retaking of the Brine Meadows and other farming towns around, they're starting to kick things into full gear here. So everyone is able to have a full stomach, some very basic ales. The, the liquor is not anywhere close to as good as it is in Yin Yang. Uh, and you guys have mm -hmm. the entire night left to you during an eating tonight or just going to bed and getting ready for the day tomorrow. Today was far more productive than I expected it to be. I didn't think it was significantly it. more productive. I think very we, good. Achieved, we achieved all of our objectives, didn't we? Now we just Pretty have to much. go to peace. Yeah, now we can just go back. Pretty great. Oh. Thank God we ran into Rauya. We might not have been able to do everything. That was that was wonderful. Yeah. Mm, indeed. Miss you, Luke. <clears throat> She's uh is she, is she with us right now? Um she probably came in later, I would say, trying to catch up with each and every one of you. She hears plenty of the stories, but she is as Ralia as ever, confident and uh, always a little distracted listening to other voices. Mm -hmm. So, tomorrow, head back to Yang Yang? Yep. Catch a ride with... Um, oh my god. Yep, trees. Calgary and the... And Charlax. Oh, yes. All right. Ralia gives you all a look and says, I'm very happy here for right now, but if you need me, send me a message and I will teleport in as we still have those stones. Don't lose them. And remember, it only works for one of us. Remember, they have the sending stones. Mm -hmm. or is it the sending stones? It's whatever that one is where... Yeah. Gate stones. Gate stones, thank you. Yep. Oh, 
well, good luck with your experiments. Oh, Dave, thank you, Master. Uh, don't cause too much trouble, though. She just stares at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the rest of you go to sleep. Does anybody want to keep watch? I don't think we have to because I have that spell where if anyone comes close, oh, yeah, it yeah. like. We you have a one? Yeah. Or, oh, and. I think yes. it's part of a druid thing. Oh, you have. The or one. the. The Hearth of Moonlight and Shadow? Yeah. Oh, the Hearth of Moonlight and Shadow. Of course. I love that spell. Was it there? Well, you all are in separate rooms. <laughs> But you all go to sleep, and obviously you don't need anyone to watch you. You have oh, the entire the army. Base. Yes. <laughs> but, I was wondering, like, are we going to get assassinated again? No, but you know, like, Suspense. think. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's got a given. Think for yourself. Anytime you make, like, any kind of joke, it just freezes. <laughs> would you like some tea? No. God, I no, but I would like I'm in this a more stable internet connection. <laughs> uh, I anyway. understand, because, like, oh my I've been streaming. So the next days. day. Yeah, you all wake, it doesn't make a lot of and you have uh, it must be your objectives ahead of you. If you need to teleport, you can go through the tree. <laughs> Delfina can go through nature's little tree. You say any farewells that you wish to do. Oh, and you can also stop by the inventors before you leave. That's something you want to do. Mm. Yes. Yes. Stopping by the inventors. Important. You guys go to the inventors, and you can see them all excited. Mr. T is smile to smile, and he goes, Ah, good, you're here bright and early. We did have some success. Uh, not so much for my dear partner, Guilford. He did waste quite a lot of material, but thankfully I'm competent. And what I have for each of you is one of these, uh, how would I put it? It's so difficult to put into words, let alone common. Uh, unstable element. Does that mean anything to you? It's, uh, you, you, and he holds up this jar, similar to what you saw yesterday. It's like, take this, uh, hi hide it somewhere very safe, bag of holding. I saw you have it. Pretty good. Put it in there. And when you want to, hopefully, we uh, tried out one of them with what we believe to be success. Uh, it, it seemed to work work out awfully well as a, uh, a devastating attack of immense proportions. Uh, what, what kind of attack? Um, back up for certain. Uh, it's probably an area of, hey, hey, are they here? No. Ah, uh, you'll let me know. <laughs> As he's back <laughs> uh, <laughs> So from what preliminary tests we could do. Sorry. Uh, it seemed to be very effective, similar to how the Grey Hand have developed some of their, uh, white death weaponry. Ours is not nearly as inhumane, Ooh. but it's definitely got the pop. The pop. Uh, I would call this uh, C3H5. C3H5. There's more to it, but you don't have to drone on and on. But that is what we've termed it. If you want to come up with something catchy like your chosen names, we don't care. We are we don't have any investment in that. So thank you. And when you come back, we'll probably have more of these and hopefully outfitting our army with them. Ooh. Are you sure they're not there? You're talking an awful long time. No, not here. I just see that you made such a mess that I'm cleaning it all up. Ah, it serves you right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys can add one C3H5 to your inventory. C3H5, that sounds like a chess move. <laughs> Let's put that in the bag. I have five in the bag of holding currently. Uh, is it some in our equipment, though? F no. It's, um, it's, a okay. it's right down. I don't even five in your bag of holding. You All the sheets are gone. It's a C3H5, duh. Yeah. Just a yeah. C3H5. It's C3H5, duh. Oh, it's a Luke. I'm not giving you a fucking nuke. Get out of here. You're right. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. So, what does everybody want to do? Uh, it's in the morning, correct? So. Yep. Are you ready to bring us back to the Yeah, sure. All right. 
Uh, you all it. say your goodbyes. You get up to the tree and you teleport through, similar to the day before, arriving in Yin Yang. It seems people are way less sluggish and getting things going, and ships are on the move in the bay. They're not so much shipped out yet, but things are going. And you can actually hear a conversation between Jarlax and uh, Jaqualden getting pretty <laughs> heated <laughs> as you guys come back uh, into the city. Oh boy. Let's go see them. As you guys walk up, you can hear Jarlax being like, Oh, certainly. Try and take all the credit you can, but tell me about the Sestona adventure, huh? We all know what happened there. And all of his people are like, Arr! And he's like, That old island? <laughs> That's nothing compared to the Baird Isles. And they're like, Oh! And it's just this <laughs> one upping of who is oh Pirate King Lord. right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they are they are heated in a discussion right now, oh, and you can see there. the advisors, yes. wide eyed, pushed back. He's like, no, no, I need to, I need to get to him. And you see a bunch of guys like, no, you ain't going nowhere, so yeah, that's great. <laughs> they haven't seen their commander or their leader this riled up in so long. It's like, oh, you're so confident. Why don't we uh, settle it like true pirate kings? So mano y mano. He's like, oh, I thought you would never. Ask. As he creates an illusion with another Jarlax next to him, he's like, that's fine. And you see he goes to punch Jarlax, and Jarlax is just not cold in the illusion. He's like, oh. And everyone's cheering behind him on his side. And you see Jarlax just <laughs> take three knives. He's about to throw the knives, and you guys oh, are there. And they're, they both see like, oh. Ladies. <laughs> Oh. Let's settle this realistically. Yes, of course. There's nothing to be settled. Eri makes the greatest point imaginable. It's everyone knows who vacated their title and who's taken over the seats. I mean, can you even travel at incredible speeds anymore, or are you too busy uh, riding by normal means? Jarlag just rides up his eyes. Oh, you think you're so special because you got the coordinate? Well, if it wasn't for my findings, you wouldn't even known where to piss in the wind to find it. He's like, oh, but I did find it. <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh, we're in a war to fight right now. <laughs> you see, no, look, look, this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the two of them are getting ready, and then you see Sylvia finally break through. Enough! She's on the borderline, hugging her nervous breakdown. We don't have many diamonds left. You have to stop. He's like, oh! So he looks at Sylvia. He's like, no, no, no. I mean, we can't be reviving your new ally here, J Jackal Brain. You see him like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> as Bruce is flying by the back and trying to lift up her stuff, she's like, no, get away. As the coin pours on her, she's like, no, stupid bird. Uh, he's like, fine, fine, fine. <sighs> inappropriate for us to be doing this in front of all of our mates. And they're all like, yeah, not really. This is great. Yeah, nothing ever happens here. Uh, I don't know about you lot, but I'd rather crack some cobalt skulls. You see a little bit of, um, you know, sadness inside Aerie's eyes. Not Aerie, uh, Jaqualton's eyes. Uh, from the sense of like, you know, so many people he once knew as allies just being on the opposite side, still a little to get used to, but you have no qualms of like, oh, he's a defector, he's none of that shit. Like, he is very apparent about all that. Uh, for you other guys with Jarlax, though, he's getting all excited. He's like, wonderful, wonderful. Join us! Join us for second breakfast as we discuss our plans forward on much clearer minds than yesterday. You guys walk in, if you join him, to another dining hall and people will exchange... Uh, the plans to move forward to Pinmin uh, end of the day. They'll be just going through the night to hopefully get there within two or three days. Jarlax, uh, with the coordinate, he can actually extend it out to more of the fleet, so Jarlax will be able to come with uh, Jaqualden, but that leaves the problem of no one staying back to rule in his stead, so he does have to stay back and make sure everything stays under control with all the Cobalt Wolf prisoners. That would not be a good idea to leave the head honcho. Leave them there. Yeah. Yeah. So that painful decision is argued about for quite a while. Uh, but Jaqualden takes some of the front runner ships, agrees to see this through, and all of you are welcome to join them as they're currently planning to go outside Pinman. It depends on whatever you all want to do. Uh, uh, I want to speak to J uh, uh, Jarlax. <clears throat> Jarlax before we leave. Certainly. Just quickly. Ah, the big son of a bitch. Mazna, <laughs> what can I do you for? That's what they call me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can see your confidence. Uh, he's like, mm, they probably don't. <laughs> Even though they do. Um, just something I was thinking about. Um, 
That guy on the horse did the funny thing and his sword disappeared. Yes, indeed. Um, I was just thinking of, like, what if he could call it back to himself somehow? We do and have would... protective wards that were set up for Calgary, by Calgary and his group. That's why he stayed behind. Um, but we are waiting to try and interrogate him uh, because so many things are moving back and forth. I'll be holding my own interrogations uh, at least tomorrow morning, maybe, or, or early tonight. But I did hope for Eri to maybe give us some insight as he seems to have quite the uh, way with the cobalt wolves from what I saw. Oh, I just... I assumed you'd probably, you know, take the precautions, but I th I'd feel kind of silly if I didn't mention it. He leans in close to you. Masnell, it makes me so thrilled to hear people like you actually th stops planning things out, thinking through all the equations here. You can't understand how uh, good help's tough to find, and some of these mm. poor people are just farmer's boys. And it's tough. It's tough on each and every one of them. Mm. But uh, I appreciate your concern. It's good. We need to keep our leaders in check. As he looks down the table and you see Jaqualdin dancing on the table <laughs> right now. And Jaqualdin's like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen what magic can do and I Steps. don't want to go down to Pimmon and hear bad things happening up here because magic. There are quite a lot of individuals up here. We will certainly tighten our cases. I believe Calgary will be heading out with all of you, but he's leaving a couple of his behind just to maintain everything. These spells are pretty standard, and uh, the Cobalt Wolves have made progress, or the Alliance for that matter, cracking them. So we should be in good shape. Excellent. Wonderful. Will you be joining everyone else for the departure of Pinman tomorrow? Absolutely. Wouldn't miss out. Terrific. I hope to God uh, Jaqualdin and all of his men don't put the chosen, as he puts in quotations, giving you guys highbrows, uh, on the front lines. I think we're past that. <laughs> I think we have different ideas of how to use uh, your incredibly talented group. Uh, we won't be on the front lines? You'll be there, but uh, I imagine we're not going to be putting you through the initial forces of the Cobalt Wolves. Soften them up, find your objectives. Uh, that was the plan I laid out, which my men will follow it through, but each of every one of you that heard it, but obviously drinks and all that was going around. The general idea is the ships get down there. Jaqualdin gives us um, recon of the entirety of the struggle and where they're at currently. And then some of my forces, about 1,500 to 2,000 of them, are going to come from one direction. And we are going to be setting up a pincer movement to absolutely surround and devastate one of their flanks, allowing for both the dwarvish forces to move outward toward the circle, and for our forces to have a direct path to get them out, and then continue growing our forces. They're tired from what we've heard. They've been sieging Pinmen for almost four months now. Uh, they have not had fresh retreat, uh, fresh reinforcements relieve them from our intel. I think this is a slam dunk. Mm. But nothing can be guaranteed. All it takes is, like you said, one magical mishap. And then if they know yes. we're coming, they're going to be retreating as soon as possible. Mm. Well, about, you know, being especially gifted, that's... Don't tell him I said this, but... That's mainly everybody else. I just hit stuff hard. <laughs> that is an incredible skill when used right. <laughs> As he gives you a little slap of the cheeks and then gives you another round. Obviously, he forgets you don't drink <laughs> and you walk off and like put it down or whatever you choose to do, obviously. But I figure... I'll, I'll, I'll take it and cheers and yeah. I walk off and I'll just kind of like pour it out and like put some water in it yep, yep. <laughs> and drink the water cool anybody else I was just gonna search out for Calgary go ahead uh, easy to find he's here at night cheers and smiles and he sees you come up and he's like ah Harry wonderful to see you here what can I do you the pleasure so we met with a storm giant the night the evening not last night but the night before Yes, I thought I heard some rumors about that. How'd it go? 
they imparted some knowledge to me about All right. taking down a Scott. He looks around. He's like, come, come with me. And you come out of the hall. You guys go into a, a close area. And you can see he hands a stone over to you. And just like, you can't keep this, but keep this on you for just a second. It keeps prying eyes out and ears. Uh, and he locks you inside a room. So go ahead. So I asked him what would be the key to defeating a Scott Grandier. Mm. And the, he, he had promised us to tell us a truth. All an right. absolute truth. Okay. And he, he mentioned that it would take essentially multiple different actions to, to dismantle uh, what his power um, almost like like trying to fell a tree you don't just take it down in one swing you have to hit it from different angles and get it get multiple multiple areas of foundation off before you can fell it yeah that sounds um, very reasonable the first hint was for us to continue on our path hey, you see you give this look like ugh. Whatever that means. Yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty typical of divinity. He mentioned, he mentioned gaining allies, so hmm. continuing to find those who might be able to help us. Wow, natural 20. Dope. I love giving you guys natural 20s with helpful allies. <laughs> he thinks back. Not he's like, I think there have been some talks trying to see if Skolberheim would join our cause and the people you saved. Uh, potentially Whoa. talking to the lords that lost all their nobility in Whitland. Or... Er, Jalasia. There have been rumors up at the frozen forest, a frozen oh. fortress, of such discussions with that uh, Sari Clovis. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I think if we potentially can, I think getting connected to Fandolin might be a strong idea. Absolutely. There's still somehow uh, <laughs> an open rebellion of a, the Cobalt Alliance with a big smile. <laughs> Um, and then the th the third sort of objective they he met, it mentioned was that the war the north and the war behind Brine was absolutely key hmm. and continuing to support there. He said Brine, not anybody else. He said continue to support the north and uh, I'm paraphrasing, but he said he specifically mentioned the north and That's supporting true. Brine. Yeah. I guess that makes sense, but we have powerful allies in water deep, so it does surprise me in, in many senses. The uh, <laughs> the parties thrown by uh, I'm not sure what you would call them, your opposites <laughs> down in water deep. They have been causing such exciting havoc, <laughs> but their power is uh, similar to all of yours. And then it also mentioned that we may be able to find answers. To defeating him in Lian, Lian Zhao and the Frozen Fortress. Mm. Lian Zhao is the toughest. That is one of the most fortified places in all of the continent, besides Tendorf itself. I'll continue trying to figure out. We've been trying to set up a stealth mission for months and months just to get in, get out, whatever intel. We don't know what goes on inside Lian Zhao. We know the royal family was. Uh, ended uh, besides a few helpful individuals that have helped guide the entire layout of Lane's Down, uh, we have a source that has helped us plan the attack but they are just they know every single weak point they have their excellence the cobalt wolves and their soldiers stationed outside it's just it seems uncrackable we've sent a couple in and they have not come back some of our best it's daunting. But Frozen Fortress, now that sounds interesting to me. I mean, we have yeah. direct access to that, so maybe... There's something, there's something there that is a hint to taking his his power down a peg. Maybe something hidden in the snow or the mountains or... I don't know. There's always some grand quest that you lot seem to find yourselves on. <laughs> I'm sure it could be anywhere up there. Rough people, but... Uh, true, true to that northern philosophy, those in the frozen fortress. They don't shave much. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Mm, that was about it. Well, I sincerely appreciate that, and I will get word back to uh, all that need to know. Thank you so much, and I sincerely appreciate you coming to me with this. All right. All right. Do you guys sleep for the night? Or is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, I got nothing. Okay. So do you guys want to take a break right now or play through? Up to you all. Yeah. All right. Let's take about a five, ten minute break. And then we'll turn for uh, Pinman. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. 